So what does the compass do in Minecraft? This video is going to explain how to get a compass, how to use a compass, how it works with the lodestone and villager trading involving the compass. The first thing that I should mention is that this video is meant for the Java edition. There are some differences with maps and villager trading in the bedrock edition. How to get the compass. The crafting recipe for the compass in the crafting table is four iron ingots and a piece of redstone dust in this pattern will craft a compass. The compass can also be found in three loot chests. The first is the map chest in a shipwreck. The shipwreck is found in ocean beach and snowy beach biomes. It can also be found on its side upright or upside down. Also there can be pieces of the ship missing so this chest may not be on the shipwreck. The map chest can be found in the back of the shipwreck in the lower section. There is a 7.7% chance of finding a compass. The stronghold library chest has a 10.9% chance of having a compass. Strongholds are structures found underground and they will be thousands of blocks apart. There will be a library found in the stronghold where you can get a compass. The last one is in the village in the cartographer's house. There is a 26.3% chance of getting a compass. You can also trade with the expert level librarian, which is the fourth level. There is a 50% chance for them to have a trade of four emeralds for a compass. How to use the compass. What the compass does is point towards the world spawn, which is the location you start the game. If you're in another dimension like the end or the nether, the compass will point randomly. If you want the compass to point towards a specific point, you can use it with a lodestone. The crafting recipe for a lodestone is a netherite ingot and 8 chiseled stone bricks. The lodestone also has a 100% chance of being in the bridge chest in the bastion remnant. The bastion remnant will be occupied by piglins and piglin brutes. Piglins will attack you if you are not wearing a piece of gold armor or open a chest. The piglin brute will attack you even if you are wearing a piece of gold armor. If you click a compass onto a lodestone, this will cause the compass to look like it is enchanted and point towards that lodestone. This will work in any dimension. However, if you use it outside of the dimension that the lodestone is, the compass will point randomly. If you break the lodestone, the compass will start to point randomly also. The compass also can be enchanted with the Curse of Vanishing. The Curse of Vanishing is an item that will cause that item to disappear when you die. The compass is also part of the crafting recipe for a map. In the crafting table, 8 pieces of paper and a compass will craft an empty map. The compass can also be used in villager trades. There are two trades that you can make with a cartographer involving compasses. The first is the apprentice level, which is the second level. There is a trade of 13 emeralds and a compass for an ocean explorer map. The ocean explorer map will lead you to the nearest ocean monument. The second trade is at the journeyman level, which is the third level. There is a trade of 14 emeralds and a compass for a woodland explorer map. This map will lead you to the woodland mansion. One thing to keep in mind is that these maps will be based on the nearest structure to the villager. So the villager will keep giving you the same map unless you move that villager.